Hello and welcome to a new series I'm doing on Minecraft. And you probably just saw some of it, so sorry. This is how a city develops. So this will be episode one with the beginnings. So it starts off usually ignore this. Usually starts off with one little house and maybe a dirt road and then a built road. Oops, sorry. Oh, it was oops, which fell temporarily. So it usually starts off with one house with a little fire, some little house, that's it. Or maybe a dirt road if there is one. And then if you go around back, there's usually a well. Nice to do your business, stuff like that. And then later on, is if I, when I come right back, then another person comes in and builds another house. With a well and everything else, respectively. And oops. And this is all randomized, you know, build, someone build it on top of like a hill, for example, like this one. This, this chap wanted to make sure that his house would be seen. And this is generally how most cities start out. With just a few little houses here and there. And maybe... And maybe like a general store. Or place where you can go shopping. You know? Something like that. Which is what this will be as soon as I finish it. So let's come right back. Now a few more residents move in, and then the general store opens. And generally this is the start of most cities. And then the cities decide they need a place of a town hall or a worship, place of worship. So the next goal to be, would be to build a church. I'm just going to lay the foundations out here so I can build it in a moment. The church will temporarily be the will also be the home of the temporary government while the new constitution for the city is made. Or maybe a general pact, something like that. These buildings are not going to be too fancy at the moment. As this town is still developing, Stuff's not going to be too fancy, they're just going to build things out of wood, they'll throw them up as fast as they can. So they have general places to do, go to, stuff like this. You don't get, uh, you don't get to the brick buildings to almost, uh, I'm trying to think of a good date, um, like the later 1700s, early 1800s. So you need to imagine it's like the early, early 1800s maybe where they're still using wood. It's the primary building material. Probably in this episode I'll, build, I'll beautify these buildings up so they look a little nicer for you. Now with a church, mosque, and a town hall built. National before. No idea who's calling us this time of day. I know the pews are wrong, but this is just temporary. Now with the seat of government, they can finally pass some laws and even put a library somewhere. In the old days, it used to be on, on the back of churches, so sometimes it would be like a small, a small extension. 
literally small extension onto a church to hold documents, marriage records, etc. Childbirths. Once those go get going, we'll just put a temporary roof on. I'll make that better too. And this is now basically the basics. And then on the outskirts of town, there there might be farm farms, stuff like that. And now this is basically how towns will be for like the next fifty years, until the rise of the industrial revolution, at least. And that's what will be in the next episode. But first, let me find coal so I can fix the road. And also, one of the first things the city may do is have a new road put in, for example. Maybe dirt, not like this, but we'll just say they're a little technologically minded. And we'll just say they decided to build a new road. And also around this time you'll see streets start to branch off as well if there's desire to. Especially if there's churches, roads, mainly churches, but still at this point most people would still walk, so it's more like dirt paths that will walk up to certain places and buildings and ETC. Now when I'm doing the roads in black is so you can see them, because a dirt path does not look like it, that good in a video. And with that, sometimes these little roads would branch off, even some more, and you get a new house built. Something just like this, where it's not too large, but you finally see someone go to a two-story. And this usually is one of the biggest changes to a city, where the one-story houses go as soon as these two stories start to be built. Since I'm doing this in a rush, I'm not going to do it all the way, but let's just say... Again, when you come back, this will look a lot better. Some things will be rearranged, but... For right now, I'll just say that's two stories. Actually, hold on, I can make it look two stories. And then another thing that will come along... That will later help with development of cities is glass, or more exactly, windows. Because if you look at a lot of old buildings, if they have, there used to be tax on old windows, especially in America, when they built, there you go. Yeah, these, this is almost perfect right here, this house. That's okay, you need some work. These are just horrible, you need to, you need to fix it up. <laughs> but yeah. So this is how towns are like for 40 to 50 years. Until the Industrial Revolution, which is in the next episode. I'll give you a brief preview. A business company is developed in the town for some reason. We'll just say there it's developed because there wants to be a... There needs more jobs here. So on the outskirts of town, they may build, and this will be the end right here with the foundation of the factory. With the future on the horizon, people learn that a new business is opening up, it's going to put a factory. This is going to start the change to a city and how we get more modern cities. This is places like London, Manchester, places like this, this is the result of manufacturing. Industrialization. As the groundwork's laid for these new factories, this the fact the corporation will buy up properties that are around it and replace it with something that I used to build on I built on this channel called a terraced house. 
And often, these old, if these old houses were not in the way, they'd, i.e., because the factories often expanded quite a bit, they would demolish these things and just build new terraced houses. But that doesn't come along till Industrial Revolution when we aren't there yet. So I will see you that see that come back for the next part two where we talk about industrialization and how modern cities begin to develop properly into what we now know them as today.